welcome back to another video and today i'm going to give you some tips to help you edit music videos a lot faster using adobe premiere pro so the first tip is going to be using the shortcut enable a lot of people have been asking me about this since i've dropped how to edit music videos professional video but i guess a lot of people didn't know about it so it was so new so i'm going to help you understand today why you should be using it but using the shortcut allows you to turn off clips on the fly and i use this in every single edit because the way i edit is like a puzzle so on and off the clips helps me to see what i want see what i don't want and move on to the next clip and do the same thing so the next tip is going to be how to copy a clip you can hold command and then hit c and then v and that simply allows you to copy and paste the clip or you can just try the clip while holding alt i use this just about in every edit because it's a lot better and you could see exactly where that clip is gonna go you could place it while you copy it so while holding alt you just want to drive the clip and this allows you to copy the clip so the third tip I want to give you guys is copy and replacing the clip that's already on the timeline. This is really how I start cheating the editing process. A lot of video editing is repetitive and when you have a few videos to complete it starts feeling taskful. So to not get bored in one routine, what I do is drag a clip on the timeline, cut it to the beat and I copy it a few times. After that's done I go to my b-rolls and from there I drag them to the clips already on the timeline while holding alt. I think you should be subscribed if I just showed you the sauce. Pick up something from my store at least. So the next tip I want to give you guys is using the shortcut question mark. So sometimes you just want to focus on that selected clip. Hitting the question mark will highlight that clip selected and from there you can just choose to render or apply an effect only to that clip. So that's very useful. The next tip I want to give you guys is using the I and O shortcuts. I and O is going to set your in and out points. This is simple but good to know. Let's say you want to render a selected portion of your video. Hit an I where you want to start and hit an O where you you want to end allows you to render only that selection these tips are going to help you to navigate the timeline quickly holding alt while hitting the plus or minus button allows you to resize only the audio clips holding command while hitting the plus or minus button allows you to only resize the video clips hitting the plus or minus button only allows you to zoom in and out of the timeline and last but not least, getting the best quality. You want to go to your sequence settings and make sure your maximum bit rate and render quality is selected. This renders the best frames and speeds up your rendering time already having those frames. So go ahead, try out these tips. Let me know down below if these was useful. If you have any tips that I probably don't know, you can also comment down below and let me know. Be sure to subscribe and I'm out.